In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build the home page of the website using the Cloriato WordPress theme. So this is the default WordPress installation of the Cloriato theme. Whenever you activate the theme, uh, this is the home page that would appear on the front page of your website. So if you want to change anything on the website, you just need to move to the theme options panel under your WordPress dashboard. I'm just moving to the appearance area and there's an option for theme options panel. Clicking on it would open the Cloriato theme options panel. Under the theme options panel, you can easily set your logo, your background image, your custom favicon image, and your Google Analytics code. Other than that, you can put your, your slider images. You can set up your whole home page using these three options. You can set up the color of your website, and you can put any of the social networking icons that you want to put up. So I'm just starting this building this website from the uh, logo part. I'm just uploading my new logo for this website. So I have my logo right here. I'm just uploading the new logo image. If you want to change the body background image, you can similarly upload the image for your body background. You can upload an image for your favicon image if you want to put up right here. And you can put up your Google Analytics code right here. Uploading After uploading the logo, I'm just saving all the changes. As you move back to the front end of the website, you can see your logo appears right here on the header. If you want to change the slider images of your website, you can move to the slider settings. Here the option for changing of the slider image is presented to you. You can just upload the new image for your slider. I'm just uploading a new image for my slider. If you want to put up some heading, you can put up some heading content. If you have some uh, slide description you can put up the uh, slide description right here if you have some link you can put up the it or I'm just using the hashtag you can upload the second image for your slider this is the heading of the slide 2 if you have some content you can put up some content in the description area as well I'm just putting up the same content on the slide 2 caption. You can put any link, you can link up any text to anywhere of your site. I'm just putting up the hashtag. And after putting all those things, you can put up for the slide 3 and slide 4 as well. And I'm just saving all the changes. As I'm moving back to the front end of the website, I'm just reloading this page and you can see a new image have been uploaded and the content and the heading of the slider is showing up right here. You can also see there's a content area which is appearing right here. There's an another slider which is having the heading of the slider and the description is appearing right here. So this is all about configuring the slider of the web page. Now moving next, you could put up this main heading to the theme options panel. Also you could put up this whole, uh, whole uh, description content under the heading as well. Other than that, there is an option for setting up home page two column and home page three column. This is the part where you have the home page two column area and this is the home page three column area appearing right here. So I'm just moving down to the home page settings. This is a nice option for turning on or off any of those two column or three column area. If you don't want to make this three column area appear, you can just turn it off. And if you want to show it up, you can turn it on. There's an area for putting up your heading. The main heading appears here. Any of the content if you have. I'm just putting up the lower image some content. And I'm seeing all the changes. As I move to the front end of the website, you can see the main heading is appearing here and all the description is appearing right below the heading. Now if you want to change the two column area, there is a similar option for home page two column.
you could put up the heading you could put up the content you could put up any link that you want to put up secondly you can put up the, in the right area you can put up the heading you can put up the content and you can put up any of the links that you want to wish the good thing about this theme is actually it support completely the HTML as well so if you have some embed code or if you want to put up some opt-in uh, form or any contact form you can easily put up using the HTML code of your website the whole page 3 column allows you to put up any heading, image, content, and link on the first area, second area, and third area as well. So this is the similar type of thing that you wish to do, and you can do it easily using this theme options panel. The styling options allows you to change the, um, change the color of the website. If you want to have the website in certain different color, you can easily change this. Let's say I want to have my website in the blue color. I'm just choosing the blue color option from the theme color options and I'm just saving all the changes. As I move back to the front end of the website, my website's layout has been turned into complete blue. So this is the easiness of the theme options panel. Other than that, if you have some custom CSS and if you want to have your own styling, you can easily define your own custom styling CSS right here. The social icons helps you to uh, insert your own social URLs. Let's say I have the social link of Facebook and Twitter. I'm just putting up right here and as soon as I'm saving the changes you can see the all the social icons appearing right here on the top of the header. So users can actually visit your social URLs using this icons. So this is all about setting up the home page of the website. Other than that, the footer area is completely widgetized. So if you have some widget and if you have something that you want to show up on the footer area, you can easily set those things up using the widget under the appearance section. So I have three widgets set up in the footer area, the search widget, the recent post widget and some random content widget. So I have just put up all those widgets under this area and you can see this whole widgets are appearing right here. So I think you would definitely enjoy building your website using the Cloriato theme. Good luck building your site. Thank you.